Okay, so once you open up DVD shrink, you present it with this window, right? So what you want to do is you want to browse on the right side. This Windows Explorer type view allows you to browse to the movies that you want to open up. So the files that I have is on a local disk C drive. Alright, and you see local disk C and local disk F. Or we have other tutorials that would explain the Windows Explorer infrastructure. Alright, but Windows disk C or local disk C in Windows is the main hard disk drive that's in Windows so which most of your files will be placed on unless you have multiple hard drives okay okay what you want to do is go to my documents that's where I have my movies placed at most of your movies will be placed either on my documents or the desktop depending on the software that you're using but for the most part it'll be in my documents alright and I have mines and vids because I have a few way so the first one is this folder here I'm gonna double click it and it's not the um the actual parent folder is in you have to get down to the the video folder okay where the video files are installed and once you see menus and main movie so what I'll do is I'll highlight both menus and title one which is the main movie and to select multiple files or folders in Windows XP, you just hold a control button. These are for the newbies. I know some of you guys are like, what the heck, I know this already. But these are for the newbies, okay? So once you have both highlighted, you drag them to the left pane where it says here, DVD structure. So you drag it over here. So all you do is select OK. You already know this, all right? So you get back to the right pane you just select this button here and what what it does is select back or up go to the uh, main root process okay so you go back up and you go to the next folder that you want or the next folder that has the the DVD that you wanna basically put on one DVD to be honest um, if you're using DVD decryptor and you want to put two movies whether you have two movies that have sequels and you want to put them on one DVD using DVD shrink you want to use the the video file process instead of the ISO process okay so um, in the homemade movies was made using actually one AVR which you can see from the background in the chapter selections okay so the next uh, video we're gonna select is here I have it here I'm gonna select both using the same process and switch it over there then you see uh, DVD shrink is analyzing and so forth you see title 1 root menu title 1 root menu 2 it's actually telling you that's two different movies and if I select here you see the picture changes on the uh, preview menu down here but uh, most of the time you're gonna lose your menus in DVD shrink and um, that's just how it goes but it's a free software and it's very versatile you know if you don't mind you have multiple movies like I said from sitcoms and you wanna put on one DVD and you use DVD shrink you can have them as long as you don't have a problem just selecting which one you wanna watch first cause it will play first or second or third and so forth and you would just have to either skip the chapters or fast forward. And establish, all you have to do is select backup. This option here. If you want to know what all options are uh, contained of with DVD shrink, you can check out my first video or tutorial on DVD shrink on fixitonline.com. And you select backup here. And it shows you the target device. That's the device that the, um, the movie will be burned to. DVD shrink, it doesn't make an ISO image. You can have it make an ISO image, but it, the main selection is to burn straight to a DVD. And it has a temporary folder that it puts the temporary file. This works out if the, um, you know things don't go right. Instead of you going through the whole process over again. So temporary folders always work. It's like almost backing up your work. Okay? You select on this here, 
that check mark to the right, you will see the uh, the default option to burn to DVD, or you see here, or you see here, burn an ISO image. Okay, and you can also use DVD decrypted to burn an ISO image. Okay, but um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it burn straight to DVD. It uh kills a lot of time and it lets us know what's what. But if you're not sure if, if it's gonna work out, you can let it burn to an ISO image, or you can use a software like Damien tools and play it to see and make sure it works right, and then burn it. Okay, um, if you're not familiar with Damien tools, I have a tutorial for Damien tools also. Okay, so you can check that out. Okay, so then you have DVD region, quality settings, options, burn settings. Like I said, I have a tutorial for DVD shrink already, so you can check that out. And it would explain all these options here. Okay, so once you have all this established, you select on OK. And then DVD shrink does what it does. So once this process is complete, DVD shrink will actually make an ISO image or make a new image. Depending on your settings, the settings we have established, DVD shrink will basically just burn to a DVD ROM. Put both movies on. And like I said, uh, you won't keep your menus, but both movies will be on one DVD in fixitonline.com so I hope this tutorial was informative for you see you on the next one God bless and be safe thank you